Howdy, me Flo Bart here, and welcome. All right, as the title suggests, we're going to take a look at the free assets for the month of February on the UE4 Marketplace, or Epic Games Marketplace, whatever. Uh, you've got five new free assets each month, and kind of quickly take a look at them. Um, first one being the CCG Toolkit. And what this is doesn't really appeal to me, but, you know, it's free, I'm going to take it, and even if I don't download it now, what if I want it later, then I can always download it later. But it's free, and it'll be in my, my bucket of many, many assets. But what it is, is the card game uh, toolkit. So you're, if you're into the, the whole card game thing, um, I don't know anything about card games, so I wouldn't know where to begin. But um, if it's your thing, then this, I would assume, would be a really good place to start off with. I guess, you know, ways of laying out your decks, looking at your cards, um, and so forth. CCG, yeah, the CCG Toolkit, and you can read all this too. I'm not going to sit here and read everything off from the uh, website that you can read for yourself. But it's a 100% blueprint framework, multiplayer support, custom card game AI and debug UI. Cool. Um, customizable card creation. Deck builder. Create, edit, and save limitless custom decks. Card manager, interchangeable positioning profiles, um, card sets with 35 plus example cards, in game card positioning editor and tools, deck generator, filter, shuffle, and weight cards in deck, which I would assume is to rate them based on rarity so that they don't spawn at the same rate perhaps as uh, others. Uh, board players, customize, has a lot of customizable stuff in here. So if you're into card games, this would be definitely one to uh, take a look at it. 296 files. I did not download this one because it's mm, not my cup of tea, but then again, if I decide later on I want to do something with um, this stuff, I've gone ahead and picked it up just to be on the safe side. Alright, let's hit the back button and take a look at the next one. Hand painted textures. Starter kit. Okay, well, this one right here to, to me says no compatible engine installed. And I didn't look at it. Um, says it supports engine 421. I don't have 421. So, you know, I won't be looking at it right now. I will be upgrading to 421 here soon, but I just have not cared. But, um, hand painted textures. So, to me, it is what it says it is. It's a group of textures, and um, would imagine they're set up as materials. So, brick roof tile. I can see where they would come in quite handy. They look like they're kind of a low poly set, which to me is also good. I like low poly stuff. But you got brick. You got uh, stuccoed brick wall um, tiles, roof tiles. Um, I like what I see. So interesting grass tiles, floor tiles, looks like kind of a, a magma rock, you know, kind of cool. Cobblestone, some other flooring stuff. Uh, water, kind of a ice and snow look, desert look. So worth checking out, I don't have 421, so that's why I don't have this one loaded yet. But the resolutions on, on them is 2K, which is pretty good. Um, I usually do 1 to 2K uh, for most of my stuff whenever I'm making tiles or materials. Um, 21 materials, 21 inst material instances. There are 2K pixel ratio and vertex painting for material breakup. So they should tile pretty good. So looks good. Um, I will be looking at them later. I just don't have 421 installed at the moment. Next on the list is Lose Particle Toolkit Volume 1. Now, this one does look pretty cool. Um, games need particles. You're, you're going to need particle effects. And no matter if you're doing a 
2D side scroller, first person shooter, third person shooter, RPG, whatever, you're going to need particles. So, scroll through the images here. Um, they look pretty nice. Uh, I will be taking a look at them. Uh, I have not yet. An interesting um, trail effect. So, let's actually look at the description here. And then we'll move on to the final one I've already got set up in a project. So we'll take a look at that one actually together because it looks the most interesting overall to me. But this one has 67 particle effects, 200 textures. It can be used for a variety of effects. 11 flip books, which I have not used flip books. Uh, 9 gradients, 23 masks. Yeah, in other words, a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, 14 blueprints for showcasing the content. So, looks good. Um, I will be taking a further look into this one. Um, but I did want to get in here and specifically take a look at the final one. But the next one is the Platformer Kit 2D. Again, not my cup of tea. I'm not much into platformers or side scrollers or things of that nature. But kind of cool overall. You got a bunch of different uh, assets, I would assume, here. Let's um, scroll through and showing it on a phone so it's set up for mobile. And the images are not moving. So, what do you get in that kit? Um, On-screen touch controls, custom customizable movement speed, acceleration and more, sprint, multi and wall jump, wall slide, dash, and ladders. Sounds cool. Uh, melee attack and range attack, timed block, multiple enemy varieties, XP and level up, collect and swap weapons, time and power ups, collectibles, moving platforms. So basically you got the, the toolkit here to put together an actual um, game because it even says it has um, audio sound effects and menu system. And it's been tested on PC, Android, Mac, Linux, and iOS. And has a set of links here that don't actually work. You actually are going to have to, uh, you can't even copy and paste them. So, looks like you're just going to have to either guess or YouTube search it yourself. So, the final one I'm actually going to quickly look at in here, and then I'm going to go into a project that I've already moved the stuff into. That looks nice. Um, oh. It is the Sci-Fi Kit Bash Level Builder. And again, these are all free assets. And actually looks pretty cool. It's almost like a spaceship right there. Um, yeah, there is kind of a spaceship right there. Really nice looking. Yeah, this one definitely is uh, going to be worth getting into all the different items you can, you can look at. Well, I've actually got a project with all this stuff in here, so I'm going to go ahead and start loading up that project. And I have not looked at these, so we're going to have to wait for um, shaders to compile and that kind of stuff as well. But you know, this will be a first look on this one. This is the one that kind of excited me, and the fact that it's free, it's definitely worth checking out. Mm, coffee, good stuff. How's everybody doing this lovely evening? That is the thing about this being a live stream is, you know, you guys can actually talk to, well, at least post comments and I can read them and re respond to them. There is going to be a slight delay, usually between two and four second delay, depending on what's going on. Kind of the same with, um, occasionally I have a, uh, a guest that will be on Discord, and <laughs> what's fun is they're trying to um, talk, and like, don't look at, you know, if you have the YouTube video up, have the volume turned off, because it definitely messes with your heads. Maps, let's go into the demonstration map, and that's going to take a minute. 
So while it starts loading, I'm going to click into the mesh folder. Loading demonstration. Well, load the damn thing. Hurry the hell up. Now this was a one gigabyte download, so uh, you know it's going to add some some weight to your project. All right, come on. Fifty three. So let's get just um, maps, which would just be demonstrational stuff, materials, meshes, and textures. No particle effects or sound effects or anything else with this. So, um, like I said, we are going to be stuck waiting for this to load. Yeah, 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 I know. Should have had this preloaded before I started a video. Well, while we wait for that to load here, um, we'll look at the other description stuff for it. And if you didn't know, every month um, there will be a new set of free assets going up into the marketplace, so you definitely want to get in there and check it out. AAA game quality, high quality assets and textures. Collision for assets, that's a bonus. Jet asset as an object of interest. Okay. Ground decals for visual polishing. All modular and easy to modify. Fully finished hangar map. Physically based rendering, yes. Texture sizes look like, it, you know, pretty much all of them are set at 2K. Um, which is 2048 by 2048 for your texture size. Which is, I usually use 1000, but yeah. You can go up to 8,000 or 8K. I don't really see a need for it. So 1K to 2K is about average. 70 materials and material instances, 190 textures. And there we go. We're finally loading up now. 110 static meshes with collisions, demo map, and overview map. All right, so just about done compiling shaders and we will fly around and take a look at it and see what it looks like lighting needs to be rebuilt come on you could have at least built your lighting in your demo project seriously all right so you got some different lighting effects kind of a cool looking spaceship Always wondered, um, is it necessary to have a spaceship aerodynamic if it's in space? <laughs> I have no idea. It's um, nice looking stairs there. Oh, can I actually walk in here? All right. So I am actually going to. Switch this to third person game mode. Stop, stop, stop. I did not click on a fucking thing. Yay! They didn't put everything in neat folders to organize them. Seriously, people, when you're building your friggin' maps, organize your shit. So we're gonna hit play. Ooh, that is some funky ass stuff there. Ooh, what the hell's going on with our character there? Weird look. I don't like what's happening with our character. Our material's all screwed up on our character. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if they're applying some kind of post process or something that's causing that, but uh, I don't like the way that that, that lighting is. Well, there's actually a network player start in here somewhere. Um, was there? Didn't actually see one, so... But then again, nothing is in an organized location. So as we pop in here, it appears that that had to fall down the weight on the objects a little bit low. Not a bad looking ship. Um, I guess it's more or less scaled to fit with the epic uh, character. Door there. But the collision on that, when we step in here, yeah, I guess it's kind of flat, so it's all right. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, that post-process look that, that's going on there with our character. So I'll take a look and see if there's actually something like that in here, because I, uh, I am not liking that. Which kind of throws off, you know, all this stuff looks good, but um, you're kind of hiding the appearance of it whenever you add weird post-processing effects in there or something like that to to blur the images. See, when I go into first-person view, it's like my character doesn't have focus. You know, get closer to this, yeah, it blurs out. I don't like that. But that's that. Let's take a look. See, um, exponential height fog render effects, atmospheric fog. Eh, weird. Leaking decal. What the hell is a leaking decal? Yep, yeah, that's weird. That's that's messing with my brain. I'm actually going to go to the overview. I see two different spaceships here. And let's see here. Um, more often than not, whenever you go to these overview maps, there is um, no collision on the floor. So if I were to try to play... First off, there's no frickin' game mode. So then, you gotta try the shit again. Man, hit play. Yay, we can actually walk on this one. Because sometimes even changing the collision in um, the world settings, doesn't, or the details panel, doesn't always fix it. So you got these um, pipe-shaped uh, wall sections. Nice. Um, I guess these are like roof girder sections, wall panels, Got a tarped up section there. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see, another tarped up section, some pipes. Those are fighter planes. What is the difference between these two here? Just not sure why there was two of them here. They both look alike. All right, uh, railings, that's cool. So you can set up railings for uh, keeping players from falling off ledges and stuff. Uh, I like these. Uh, floor grates. I'm assuming these are kind of a hollow appearance so you can see through them. 
Door frames. That one's open. I got a couple closed. These two look alike. Okay, one is just normal. One has actually um, a square frame around it. So that's nice. Mm, interesting. Uh, wall sections and like. That's cool. This is Z-shaped uh, wall support or roof support. Uh, see, I see that as a frame for like a, a, a sign or something. It's like interior hallway sections. All right, cool. I mean, a lot of cool stuff in here that you can use for setting up your own modular environments. And you got your stairs here, fully contained. You got two different types of arm rails or guard, or you know, side rails. And the stairs without rails. Shorter section. Now, why would you have just a single step? Well, A, you could do it for, okay, just one small rise. But, um, so you could probably rig this up, this or this, and rig those up as individual stairs. So either A, if you just wanted to paste one of them in, because you need this to actually be five steps instead of four, or um, if you wanted to have it set up where you recreate that as a spline mesh, and as you're you're laying it out, it'll actually extend out and add more of them. Won't get into that because above my brain right now. But really nice, you have these little sets of stairs here. Assuming you could set two sets of stairs next to each other. Probably overlap them a little bit so that, um, yeah, you can extend it up to double up the height. It's actually float around a little bit. Some drums. You know, shipping containers of various colors and sizes, bigger wall section, bigger interior pieces. Yeah, I like. It's pretty cool. Let me just put a camera up there. Who does that? I mean, seriously. Why? But again, I don't know why there's two ships there. Now, this I do like as well. These are light fixtures. Um, I like that. That's nice. Now, I'm just wondering here, is this just loose actors laying on the ground? Which is kind of cool, too, because really and truly, you don't really need to have anything else on that. Because technically, you can make cable actors on your own. That's nice. I like what I see. Oh, please, please save. Because all I did was I changed the game mode. And going back into this demonstration map here, um, it seems like there should be some particle effects going on in here. But, you know. I like the way it looks now, but whenever I go into play mode with this, so, well, maybe it's something else here, because whenever I get close to these, the material blurs out. So it might actually be in the material instance. Or in all these frickin' spherical reflection captures. Ugh. Oh, you ass. But that are that. I kind of like it. I actually have to do a lighting build on it and see how it looks. But this does give you a good idea of what you can do with these pieces. Um, I can actually go into a, a new map and I'll throw some of them down. But, I like. So, let's go to File, New Level, and screw it. We'll just do a VR Basic, just to have a little place to run around in. Dump those guys, you and you. 
get underground third person game mode and there we're lovely so let's actually start throwing some meshes out there and see what we got to work with all right I mean, I like my uh, my crates and little detail items. There are rails. All right, so there's that. And I'm just gonna grab that and shove that over in a corner, just so we can take a look at it here in this environment. Um, walls, always into stairs. So like I was saying about these stairs here is when you place them in here, damn it, it's really bright in here. There's no way to physically just, like with doing a BSP set of stairs, um, if you're wanting to add more, then you're going to have to add more. And what I mean by that is I'm going to come over here. Bring the rails to just go inside the the wall, and then raise it up. Why? Because whenever you're wanting to get off of an end of stairs, you want the rails to go up slightly higher, and you want your your guard rails to be on top of the wall right here. So that kind of overlaps and puts my rails right there on the edge. So control C and control V, so I got another set in. And overlapping just a little bit on the, the rails. So that and I'm gonna have to uncheck snapping. like so they have to kind of overlap a little bit or they're just not going to look right can be a little fiddly when you're trying to get it just right but worth it in the long run. And you see we're not going to have enough to finish off the stairs that way. So that's where I'm going to have to bring in these guys or I'm just going to have to if I want to match it up with that floor really and truly if you start stretching these things out they're just not going to look right. So I don't usually like doing that. So what I would probably end up doing right here is... Well, you're not going to match it up with that floor. It's just not going to look right. Because if you put another one down here, this one then going into the ground, and your rails then go into the ground. It totally throws off the look. Um, and if you just put other stairs in here, the chances of them lining up, very slim and you're not going to get your guardrails lined up so I think at this point it would be safe to say to go ahead and just raise your floor up to this point or your walkable area of the floor put a platform there and that's just going to be based on whoever you are and how you want your map to look overall so yeah at that point I would look for something for your flooring these are listed as fence that's listed as floor that's a normal floor there so yeah you get the point but then again use it however the hell you want to use it nice to be able to sit here and just throw assets into the map and 
position them around, take your time, make your map, do your thing. But then again, these are free assets, so you got plenty of time in the world to work with them. But you got to get them while you can get them because these are only available for this month. So I'm not going to sit here and, and spend a whole lot of time building a map here. Uh, uh, besides the fact that I suck at doing maps. Um, why do you instantly fall to the ground? I don't like when you go to put static meshes or whatever into your map and the frickin' meshes, the pivot point for the meshes are, are not in the right place. Um, if you're putting this down, you'd kind of expect that to be this being on the floor. And in this case, it's not. So to me also, um, I like whenever I can come across things that I can, to a certain point, rescale. These aren't scaling very pretty. Because what you end up with is if you're trying to put a lot of things in your map, you end up with a lot of actors in your map. And, yeah. But overall, I'm happy with the way these things look. And then again, they're free. And yeah, it's only the fourth, so you got plenty of time to get them for this month. But don't miss out. Um, there we go. I'm not going to sit here and keep fiddling around with these. You guys can build your own maps. Um, but that one, like I said, is the Sci Fi Kit Bash level builder. Really cool. Um, I know it's too late to mention the ones from last month. Um, but, like I said, it doesn't hurt anything to go in there and check every month to see what's what. Um, you've also got another area where you can just click on free in the marketplace and you'll find all these different free assets. Interior Toolkit was one. Um, Industry Props Pack 6. I haven't looked at this one yet and put it into a project yet. But this one was, I think, last month was free look pretty sick so I went ahead and grabbed it you got the barrels and traffic cones and shelving units and things like that you could probably combine this one with that one um, the sci-fi one and expand from there pretty cool stuff but just go to the marketplace and when you're you hit the marketplace but tab right there Come on. You're going to get the the featured items of the month, and it kind of rotates. And some of these asset packs, you know, these are paid asset packs, look pretty good. That one looks pretty good. The tanks looks pretty good. Um, control panel, physics, interaction, doors, chests, and yeah, that one looks, looks pretty cool. But when you look at these right here, you also have that you can click here or you can click here and it will list everything that is available free oh uh, did you know that paragon assets were free oh how about that and more paragon assets if they were optimized better they would be so awesome to mess with but they're such a pain in the ass to work with and to me i've given up on them several times so i didn't play paragon so it really wasn't worth the effort for me to continue doing anything with it when I didn't have enough other interest in it. Soul City and Soul Cave, both really cool. Um, the Infinity Blade stuff, cool if you're doing that kind of uh, game. Automotive Materials, some of those materials look pretty good. I've looked at those. Um, the effects, it's pretty cool. There's some good uh, particle effects in there. Um, I really haven't messed with that, so I don't know anything about it. Uh, more effects from Infinity Blade. UE4 Mannequin Mobile. And I got it, and I was like, well, what the hell do I need this for? So I've never used it. Um, it's a mobile-optimized mannequin, and the original mannequin seems to work just fine. So 
open world demo. I really, I think I looked at it one time. Some interesting tree assets. Um, Sci-fi hallway probably be pretty cool to combine that with the uh, the new kit. Um, 2D graveyard pack that was last month. I haven't looked at it yet, but I've got it. Um, let's see. Take your time, go through here. There is some pretty cool stuff. Um, connect for Unreal. I glanced at that overall, but I don't have a Connect system. I, I don't do consoles, so I have an Xbox 360 with an older Connect on it, so I could probably mm, do something with that. I don't know. I don't know if the damn thing works. I've never used it. The menu builder carousel. The menus look really nice. A good starter way of setting up menus. Kept saying that I was going to incorporate that with my simple multiplayer Steam system. I just haven't. Target system component. I haven't messed with that one yet. Um, looks promising for being able to to tag targets. But it's all written in C++. So mm, I don't do anything with C++. Auto-sized comments. Never had a problem with comments. No idea what Moto is. But as you just scroll through the free stuff, there's a buttload of free things in here that you can look at, and that might be what you're looking for. Smart Suit Live. Spider Navigation. I believe that's all on C++ as well. Vehicle Sim Dynamics is not what you're thinking it is. It's to interface with another program. Um, car Sim and Truck Sim math models to use them inside Unreal. Um, input Buffer Basics. No idea what the hell that is. Shadow mocap plugin, no idea. Twitch play, got it. Haven't looked at it yet. I very seldom get on Twitch. Uh, low poly extended standard library. The name kind of throws everything off from what the hell it is, so I haven't even looked at it. Substance Unreal Engine. I, I thought you could use Substance Painter already in Unreal Engine. These things look nice. The Polypixel Freebie Pack. They look nice, but I've not been able to bring myself from keeping them in a project. I don't know why. They just they don't work for what I'm doing. I don't know why. It's, it's, they look really good, though. Uh, these materials don't look bad. I've messed around with them briefly. No, I, I get. I thought I have. It says free add to cart. I thought I already had them in there. War materials, cell shader light, game textures. But yeah, there's just so much stuff that's free in here. So get them, grab them, use them. Like I said, right now this was to feature what was free for this month, which is the card game toolkit, the hand painted textures. Which that one I'm going to be taking a look at soon but I need to upgrade to 421 or downgrade to 421 whichever the particle toolkit um, I'll look more into that one at another date um, platformer I'm not into platformers but I definitely wanted to look at this one the sci-fi kit bash and I think that if you needed some assets to to work on a map with uh, there you go if you don't get it shame on you because it is free and what is the normal price on it I have to wait till it's no longer free but or if anybody else wanted to take a look at it but um, that's easily probably a 40 50 60 dollar asset pack Yeah, this is the um, the marketplace assets. Um, so yeah, these are perma free. 
So even if you're not going to use them right now, it doesn't take anything for you to come over here and add to cart, 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 and then go to checkout, and then you do the same checkout procedure, but there's no payment involved in the payment process, so it just goes through because it's all free. So, well worth taking a look at. That if you don't get it, shame, shame, shame. I know, I need to move my freaking player start. But it's so difficult to move my player start. It takes like seconds. And for those of you who don't know, to keep your players from falling out of the world, we all know that guy. We all know that one person that we're... We build this really cool map. We get all the, the main portion, and we're trying to show off the main portion of the coolness of how amazing our map is. And the first thing they're going to do is, hey, look. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm falling off the world. And they're going to do that. They're going to find the, the first freaking way that they can to fall out of the world because it's cool and awesome and stuff. Those are the function keys, by the way. F1, um, no. F2, well, shit, you gotta be in, in play mode. But F1 will bring up a wireframe mode. Kind of freaky. In case you didn't know that that was a thing. F2. It's kind of a cool effect. <laughs> I kind of like that. Kind of a low poly cartoony feel to it. F3 brings you back to hell. Eh. Yeah, F4 is kind of bleaches out the, the, the lighting. But yeah, we, we all have that one friend who will look for the first way to actually walk off the frickin' map. And we all know that guy. And we either have to build these huge-ass walls to block everybody in, or you can just do um, volume, blocking volume, drop it in, center it up, extend it past your walls just a little bit. Doesn't have to be wide, just tall enough so they can't just walk through the damn thing and fall out. Probably a little too tall, but whatever. And it's a shame, but I find myself having to do this on all my friggin' maps, because I guarantee you that one friend will, will be the first one. You're trying to show them all this cool stuff you work so frickin' hard on, Yes, I know. He said hard on. Um, and, you know, you're all happy and proud of your shit. And then you get them into the map with you. And the first thing they do is they fall off the world. And they can't see a fucking thing of what you're, you've just worked hard to, to make work in a multiplayer environment so they can actually see it. And you're all proud and everything. And now you're just, like, pissed off because they're wee falling out of the world like jackasses. So I find myself having to put blocking volumes in on all of my maps to make areas where that one person can't just immediately go, oh, look, can I fall off the world? Oh, yes, I can. Or now, oh, well, I can't fall out of the world. So then they'll run around and find the extents of where they can and cannot fall out of the world. You know, we all have that friend that's like that, and they're special. They have their own value. Sometimes we wonder why, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So therefore, you have to waste that time of actually putting those in there. It's 
So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And um, go ahead and grab this. I guarantee you can find, you know, a bunch of uses for this stuff. Make you some lovely maps. I know I could sit here and and I'll mess around for hours building a map and realize that the map with this new asset that I, I just picked up um, I don't even need. It doesn't fit the theme of what I'm actually working on so I actually have no use for it and then I end up deleting the whole project. Um, yeah. In fact, the only reason why I haven't deleted this project yet is I've told myself, okay, I'm going to leave this one alone. This is just going to be the the one that I use for streaming and showing off stuff. If I screw something up, who cares? I can always just delete the entire project and restart it, and I haven't really lost anything towards my normal projects. So, no great big loss. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys take the uh, the time to go ahead and grab these, because, like I said, I think they are pretty nice. And, you know, if you've got a use for this kind of stuff, then, yeah, hope you'll have plenty of time and enjoyment out of somebody else's hard work. Be thankful that these were actually out there and, and available free. All right, of course, going around with this. All right, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, let's see. Crap Map. Sounds like a good name for this. I do shit, but I just want me to save again. All right, guys. Um, I'll be available on Discord for a little bit. If you've got any questions about anything, let me know. And otherwise, uh, we will be seeing you guys soon. Um, and for those of you out there who don't know... Um, Wednesday, I will be doing the normal stream. Um, Friday is going to be pushing it, maybe. I may or may not be doing the stream on Friday, the normal stream. But that is because the Division 2 is coming out next month, and there is a free private beta. Well, not a free private beta, but there is a private beta that I will be partaking upon that starts um, on the 7th at... Uh, 1 a.m., which would actually be, I think, 3 a.m. my time, which is Eastern Standard Time. So I will probably be up, and I will be streaming about, well, I don't know, is, is, I'll probably stream the whole freaking thing, um, or as much as I possibly can on it. Uh, but the Division 2 will be coming out uh, in a private beta, of which I will be playing, and between the 7th and the 11th, I will be doing that. So, um, yeah, don't expect um, much in the way of anything out of me during that time period. Uh, I will be streaming it, so if, if you want to come take a look at it, um, you can catch the streams. I'll stream for a little bit until I just get tired, and then I'll stream some more. Um, during the private beta we will have access to from levels 1 through 7 on player levels and then at level 7 once we complete a certain mission we get three additional characters which is one of each of the new classes um, so that we can test out those the three three of the main classes of characters in the new game and and that kind of stuff so in some of the end game content but I will be streaming that stuff and that's all I'm going to be focused on between the 7th and the 11th. The actual game is going to be released on March 15th. And after that game gets released, I will be streaming. I'm probably going to end up doing a full series on The Division 2. Um, with one character that I will probably just dedicate it for on-stream only play. And then I'll have my own personal character that I'm leveling up normally. So, if you're interested in the game, and you want to get the game now, then, yes, please save so I can exit you. Uh, Green Man Gaming. I've mentioned them before. Um, 
if you go to their website, as you can see, um, VIP status, because uh, I've bought a few things from there before. And check on their PC. Well, there was just right there. Um, the Division 2, the Standard Edition, the pre-order of the Standard Edition, the price on Uplay Store is 60 bucks for this. Um, right now on Green Man Gaming, it's $50.39. So it's almost ten dollars off from the uh, the normal price on a pre-order game. Kind of interesting to get a uh, discount on a pre-order game, but there you go, Green Man Gaming. Um, I saved almost ten bucks. I got it at this price. I was pissed off because it was priced at fifty-three ninety-nine, and I kept forgetting to go by the bank and making a deposit into that account. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot. I didn't make it and pissed off then I waited a day or two and I was like screw it finally I went to the bank and come back and I'm like well shit I just have to get it through um, uh, Uplay I went back here to Green Man Gaming and saw that it was $50.39 so it was $3.60 cheaper than the special deal that I already missed um, it says right here private beta will be available between 7th and the 11th of this month um, if you buy it through Green Again, Green Man Gaming, it is going to be on Ubisoft. Okay. Um, however, if you don't want to get it at this time for some reason, and you want to wait and get it on UPlay, that's fine. However, from what I understand, it is going to be on the um, the Epic launcher as well. So if you want to reduce the number of launchers like Steam and um, you play and blah 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 blah. Um, in case you did not know, um, the Epic Game or e Epic Game Launcher, you click on the store and uh, you see I got um, Ark and Conan already, and I won't play Fortnite. Subnautica, there is a new version of Subnautica out now. Unreal Tournament, tournament, it's free. Install it, play it, love it. It's amazing. Um, but if you go to the store, last month the original Subnautica was free. Um, supposedly also they're giving away a free game every month as well. Um, but inside the Epic Game Launcher, it's more than just Fortnite, I promise. So you, you'll be able to get AAA titles like The Division 2, Subnautica Below Zero. No idea what Genesis Alpha 1 is, but the original Subnautica is back to $25, where last month it was free right here. Walking Dead, okay, but um, with the way things are going, uh, Epic is trying to become pretty much the same thing as Steam now, with the number of AAA titles they're trying to get on there, you'll end up, from what I understand, paying less overall. And if you publish your games on the Epic Game Launcher versus somewhere else, um, it reduces the amount of cut you got to pay out for everybody else. This, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's Coffee Stain, and they've usually got some cool weird titles, so mm, I'm going to keep coming back to check on that one. Uh, World Z... Yeah, uh, like I said, Unreal Tournament on here is free. If you have not played Unreal Tournament, do it. <laughs> it is a fun game. You won't find a whole lot of multiplayer games on it right now, but holy crap, it was a, an addictive game when it was new, and it's still fun. Um, Third-person shooter, first-person shooter, whatever. Um, you can play versus bots, and the bots actually can be pretty damn good at times. And you can just, yeah, cool weapons, cool guns. It, it's Take a look at it, you'll like it. I may actually go back and do another review on it later. Just kind of like a follow-up review. Um, Ark, Conan, like I said, some big titles will be on here. So if you're looking to get rid of, you know, always relying on Steam for your source of games, Epic Games Launcher um, will be doing the same basic thing. Again, you go back to your library. 
I don't have any games from them on here myself, but then I'm rolling gin naturally. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching, and we will see you around.